beautiful flowers. Glass is steamed up already. And we're going to do it one aisle at a time. I hope you enjoyed my MS supermarket visit. I know you did, nearly 600 views. So I thought we'd do a Waitrose this week. We will do a Lidl's. I need to find out how to get to one. And we will do an Aldi, so don't worry. I'm not doing Morrison's because it's shocking. And I might do... I'm not sure if you want me to do Tesco's, let me know, guys. So here we are in the first aisle. I'm going to use my bag, not a trolley. And as you know, as I said, it's a half inch screen. I can just about see it. So let me know if you think it's okay. It came out well, the m and one. Oh look, 375 from 445. See that? Hmm, I've got it sort of tilted it forward slightly so I can see. I've never had a guinea fowl before. And the big ones, let's have a look at these. Old guinea fowl, £9.50. What does it taste like, guys? I've never had it before. So we have oh, a third off veggie slow cooked. No, I won't go for that one. Just taking the camera up a little bit. Yes, so as you know, it's probably the best way to film. The only other way, guys, we're in the first aisle now, the meat aisle. Nothing really to see there. Is a, a massive gimbal with my look British beef roasting joint. I'm not sure how much this one is. It seemed to have wandered over from another aisle. Yes, so this would be in everyone's face, and I don't want to do that. Oh, here we are, look. Brunswick Ham. Oh, I bet that's wonderful. Unearthed, 18 pounds. Hmm, wouldn't mind that. And I think it's too much for one. So, yes, yeah, so it's just fruits and vegetables down here, guys. But I just thought, you know, you could have a good look. Christmas left over there. This is the delicatessen here. The wonderful cheeses they have here in Waitrose. So it's not a big Waitrose, but as I said, 23, 24 bus Waitrose around about seven or eight minutes. I'm here. And uh, it's probably something I'm going to do in future. It's quite busy at the moment. Oh, I love the Ritz head. £5.60. Mm, beautiful. And they do some very good cheeses here. What do we have over... Oh, that's just meats here. I've never... Oh, look, it's a third off there. That's good, isn't it? Oh, I tell you these. These are wonderful. Uh, Charlie Bingham's, but they've gone up quite a lot. I enjoy the curries, the cherry, oh, that's gone down. I had that the other day. Let me just show you. Cherry Bakewell, four pounds. It is excellent in the oven for 10, 15 minutes. It's, um, it's great with some double cream. Let's have a look over here. What do we have? I do like Charlie Bingham's, but I'm not paying £9.50. I used to buy, let me just show you guys. Oh, look, there's a few of them reduced, but I noticed they hardly reduced them. Chicken Jow Frazy, they do a chicken tikka. It's probably one that I said the other day in Marks and Spencer's. It's comparable. It's, it's um, £9.50. Oh, here, look. You see, you have a chili con carne here. It says for two people. 
but the 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 reductions like eight pounds seven ninety nine from nine fifty it, it's not worth it and I noticed I must tell you guys oh yeah chicken as I say it's nine pounds fifty now tikka masala but I can make my own rice for in a saucepan for ten pence maybe twenty pence I'm not I don't need the rice it comes with rice uh, or oh, chicken tikka here we are let me just show you it used to be eight pounds sorry I'm bending down a bit look it's absolutely excellent it's now nine pounds fifty and I wouldn't use the rice because I don't have a microwave and I don't want the rice so it'd be a waste of money nine pounds fifty Oh, they do an all butter chicken pie here look 5.89 so there is, not only have prices gone through the roof guys have you noticed in supermarkets the I said derisory reductions they would rather throw it away I was in Marks and Spencer's the other day it was the 27th and they had several thousand pounds with the wonderful turkey breasts and they had ducks and they were reduced by say for example they had an 80 pound one reduced to 71 or they had a 53 pound one reduced to 42 and it wasn't one of those where you had to it said used by the 27th so it had to be used on on the day you bought it or you could oh that's a big one isn't it look at that that's an extra thin base Romana marinated chicken reduced from C650 to 549 so and and the date on that what's the date on that let's have a look the date oh 29th you see so they'll be throwing those away today and and these tur these turkeys and the breast the really expensive ones in M&S so I, I looked around and I saw there were a, a, two or three thousand pounds worth on the shelf and I was in there after six o'clock and they had to be used on the day, the 27th. And they would rather throw them away. So if they had given them a, a good reduction, they would have sold all those turkeys. It's difficult in a supermarket because people do not expect you to be walking around and with it being on my body I, this is only the second time I've done this I've got to remember not to turn my body too quickly smoked bacon cheddar tart hmm do have some good offers here but it's it, I mean, there's not hundreds of people around, but there's too many. In the future, I think when I, I come out, I will come out early. So that's another aisle there. Let's have a look at, oh look, they've got some Prosecco here. Five pounds off. Now that's a DOCG. You see that? When you buy Prosecco, look for the DOCG, not the DOC. It could be, come from any region, but this is produced in a specific region in Italy, the OCG, and that's excellent price, £8.99, five pounds off. And it'll be the highest quality Prosecco if you cannot afford champagne. Is my favourite little area. What do we have here now? Magnum. What's that? I've never seen that before. Oh, two for six pounds. I, I thought they, sorry guys, I thought they were six pounds. I do have some Christmas cake at home. If you do live locally, in I know we're back to M&S now but they've got uh, half price on their cakes though I bought a it looks very small but there's good three slices in there a very a mature Christmas cake tiny little one but when you open it it's good three slices and I got it for £3.50 instead of £7 so have a look this looks interesting doesn't it let's have a look here oh gelato Oh, it's very light. Tiramisu with coffee. Yes, it's at a funny angle, guys. Please forgive me. Oh, look. Colombian coffee and white. 
chocolate ice cream. It means I can look down at the half inch cream with steamed up glasses. <laughs> Muffled voice with a mask. But anyway, I've got the Christmas cake. I was hoping I might see some Christmas desserts at a good price that I could freeze, but um, at the moment I'm not seeing anything. So we've got milk. I'm not sure what we're going to get today. Look at this. Uh, cold brew. I don't like cold brew though. Espresso with almond. Coffee with almond. £2.17. They've got quite a few 25% off offers. I buy these guys. Do you buy these? It tells you it's 20 billion whatever. They're not they're not cheap. Uh, bacteria, less sugar, vitamin D and D. Three pound forty. They usually work out about um, well fifty pence each. So put those back. I mean I don't think they would mind you filming in supermarkets, so I I wouldn't film in, as you know, restaurants and coffee bars and places where people um, are entitled to their privacy. And this, as I said, I'm not using the gimbal. And anyone who vlogs will know with a, a iPhone 13, it's in everyone's face. You're walking around and it's huge and you're just, everyone would think, you know, what are you doing shining this in my face? And also, um, you cannot then use your hands. So you have, well, you can use one hand, which is useless. You cannot pick up <laughs> items and show you how I would. So I'm doing this for you. Um, Charlie Bing and, oh, that's the other one. We've already seen that one in the other aisle. Uh, so I might just sort of run around for you guys and just show you. This is the till area. As I said, it's not a huge, what have they got here? Lots of gin on offer here, look. Sapphire Gin, Bombay, £19. I don't drink, to be honest with you. I said to you the other day, I very rarely drink. Um, so, but I might just get a half bottle of wine, something that I can enjoy. I've got mayonnaise, I've got my rice. Let's go down here. Excuse me, please. I believe they should be where I'm looking. Thank you. Tuna. Um, oh, they, they do sell a few items here, household items. But I'm going to do it systematically. And we have biscuits, but I still don't see any. But all the, getting back to M&S also, all the Christmas cakes were gone. They just had a few very disheveled, broken boxes, but they pulled the blinds down where you had all the desserts. Were not very good this year anyway, as I told you. But I do hope you're enjoying Waitrose. It's certainly worth a trip on. Oh, I love, look at this here. I love these compots here. Apricot compot. Mmm. Wonderful, four pounds fifty. Oh, I'd love the cherry one. Mm. Maple syrup. Look at this. How much is this? Doesn't say, to be honest. Um, oh, that's rum. I think that's come from somewhere else. Don't know. Isn't that beautiful? I love the bottle. Oh, mango and passion fruit like a compot look 249 this is the thing about waitrose they do have some really high quality products so look sorted caramel sauce three pound ten pence oh i love that oh they sell cones in boxes and let's go got batteries just on my right you don't want to see those oh look they got oh no that's not cheap is it £3.75, look, my favourite, and normally if you buy, I bought, I must tell you, the other day, I bought Sainsbury's 
it was one pound thirty, and normally I don't. But it, I wouldn't say it's comparable, but it's a very good compromise if you cannot afford Hellman's mayonnaise anymore. One pound thirty pence. And this is the wonderful thing I love about being in Waitrose. They do have high quality products, unique products. And I know you're going to say, oh, we could have all afford to shop at Waitrose. I don't shop at Waitrose, but if you shop carefully, you get some very good bargains. And I've had this one before, £4.60. It's beautiful. I love to have a smell of all these things. And head and shoulders and loads of quality products for the bathroom, which I really do enjoy. And I hope you will think about coming here if you live anywhere near Waitrose or even in the centre. So you get the 23-24 bus. I have my pass. I have my pass. And oh, I can actually see security down there, but I don't think they would mind. I'm going to use my bag and get my shopping. So let's have a look down here but I don't think I need too much today, to be honest. Oh, they do these oats, they are wonderful. I think I ought to get some, to be honest. These here, they are, oh, I don't have a microwave there. Oh dear, look, wonderful oats. Last a long time, one pound 90. How else can you make them? I think it's just from microwave, isn't it? Uh, uh, in the deep bowl, now and over into the top of the bowl, microwave. Can you do it any other way? I don't know. No, this is like a microwavable oats. When I left my last flat a year ago, I had this beautiful microwave, but I... It was like a five minute walk away from where I moved to, would you believe? And I, I was so exhausted. <laughs> I, I left it there, I said to the agent, oh, leave it to the next person who moves in the flat. It was almost new. And now I, I do miss it. Look at these fridge pack. It's useful, isn't it? £3.50. I like beans. I love it. Pelchards. Tuna's one of my favourites. Yes, again, we have these household goods here. We've done that aisle. I've got all my shopping products here. Fairy and everything. We've just been up this aisle. And let's go down to the next aisle. It's just where they sell all the toiletries and things. But I just wanted to give you an idea you know, what they have here and how, well, great quality of products. Um, I don't need anything over there. Let's have a look. Oh, they do a few items here as well. I think I don't need a baking tray. I don't use a cafetiere there. No, I don't need anything here. I, I gave a pizza cut. Now, I've got a... I just use a knife, to be honest with you. I don't eat pizza very often. I know what I wanted. You know when you run out of those damn bin bags and you end up just... It's a pedal bin, that's a small one. I need the large one. What do we have here? They're so expensive in supermarkets. Oh, they've got the large... Oh, these ones here. No, that's a hundred. I'm not sure which size I need. Let's have a look here. Garden ones. I can never find the right size. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it might. Oh, these. What are these? 30 bin. Oh, 50 litres. And these ones, I think the small ones, aren't they? Oh, 25. I think that's the, that's the one. Yes, essentials. So they will do. We can put those in my bag. And let's go back. We'll go left because where all the cakes are. But I do not see any Christmas cakes anymore. 
or you know the, the Christmas products they, they've all gone all the cereals over here and up here nothing exciting really you just have pet food and soft drinks and stationery some teas here I used to drink. Oh, look at these. These are quite posh, aren't they? Look. Cold infused mango. Oh, for water bottles. Oh, I see. You put one of those in a water bottle. Drop, leave, shake and enjoy it. There's 12 in there. 12 for three pounds. That's like 20, 27 pence each. That's good though, isn't it? If you want to add flavour to your water bottle, and I do have one. And what do we have up here? Oh, it's quieter up here now. Yes, I, I'm a coffee drinker. One coffee a day now, though, guys, because of, um, oh, I just cannot stop going to the loo. So, one coffee a day. Oh, yes, this coffee here is really quite expensive. Look. 7.85 Azera Americano instant coffee and I think I'm right in saying that one of the multi-chain supermarkets not supermarkets, coffee chains, I think it was Starbucks correct me if I'm wrong, invented that. They said it did take 20 years of research. Ah, some cakes here. Ooh, some wonderful cakes. 16 pounds. Hmm. <laughs> First thing I've seen of these reduced, these bites here. No. Don't be naughty Bernard. And we have the fresh cake selection here. Oh, I've not heard of these before. You see they have a lot of these. Unique products. Studio Bakery. £3.50. I'm not sure all these look lovely. Oh look. Waitrose festive baklava. These are beautiful. I'm not sure how much they are. My second wife came from Odessa in Russia. Well, it's independent, but it was till recently. <laughs> she, she, she was born in Armenia but spent most of her life in Odessa. So that's it guys, really. I just wanted to show you these beautiful cakes here. Oh, look at this one. Chocolate party cake. £15.50. I'd get rid of that in one night. <laughs> Good prices, really. I've got some beautiful cakes here. Millionaire layer cake, £16. That looks beautiful. I'll tell you something. Oh, this golden sponge cake. Oh, look at this one. Up here. Pink boutique cake. I might get some eggs. Yes, um, Lola's cakes are wonderful online. You can get them five inch for 20 pounds, about six slices, medium slices. Four very large slices. So I'm thinking, yes, half bottle of wine, but the only problem, as I said, I very rarely drink, guys. But I don't know if you've noticed that, and it's always been the case, I was in the wine business for 10 years. If you usually buy, oh, that small bottles of wine, they are usually 
awful. You struggle, and it's always been the case when I was in the wine business 20 years ago, for 10 years, that the wine in, and it's of course a lot more expensive, it's usually a third of a bottle, but very rarely you get a quality wine in a small bottle, and I don't want to buy a <coughs> large bottle, I prefer red to white, but they do have a burgundy here, let's have a look, white burgundy, hmm. Chardonnay, of course. Burgundy, French, posh word. And I, I quite like Chardonnay. But if you come and you want to bo purchase a bottle of champagne, guys, get the £13.99 Waitrose own brand. It's, it's really good. Down there, let me just Oh, I won't go down, it's right down the bottom, but anyway, it's thirteen ninety nine for half bottle, and it's excellent champagne. I haven't had a expensive champagne. Getting back to this again, as I said, guys, remember, DOCG, look for when you buy your Prosecco. It's made in a spe specific, <laughs> specific region in Italy, quality grapes. DOC, don't touch with a barge pole. You see it everywhere. Wouldn't clean your shoes with it. But DOCG, five pounds off, eight ninety nine. Tremendous value. But I don't want a whole bottle. See if they do a small bottle of red over here. Half bottle of claret. That's a damn good price. Reserve. Look. Three seventy five. I'm going to get that. That'll do me for. Uh, now this side of New Year, and I, as I said, I usually buy a, a, a small bottle of Prosecco every, possibly every month, that's it, boring I know. So that's it guys, I'm going to take you very quickly through the shop again. I'm then going to say goodbye. You don't need to see me at the checkout. But this is Wade Road, Ed Baxter. 23, 24 bus from the city centre. A very good shop. They have some excellent deals. And the, you notice, guys, how wide the aisles are. And you feel, it's, it's a pleasant shopping experience, to be honest with you. Have a look at the aisles there, how wide they are. Isn't it wonderful? And you see again here, look, this £7 off. Coach Derone. Excellent value. Fine wine, £10. This is Gin Lovers, Fever Tree, the ultimate for Gin Lovers. Oh, uh, Gin and Tonic, look at this. Oh, 4 25 Oh, it's a cracker, Gin and Tonic. Half price. So, Fever Tree, like a double gin in there with a tonic. Well, we've done the Prosecco over there, but, but yes, have a look at this, guys. Very brief. Look how wide the aisles are. The aisles are beautiful, aren't they? Wide. Don't get in each other's way. It's comfortable to shop. Don't have to worry about anything. Falling over each other. Excellent shop. It's a small way for us, but it's not one of those very small ones. We used to have one, if you remember, by the railway station, Colmore Road, didn't we? Snow Hill, but they, that went about two or three years ago. So I do hope. Oh, look, we've got some stuff here. Look at these ginger things. Oh, I must show you guys. Look, do I get them? That's good value, half price, £1.12. Oh, so this is where they've got a few of the Christmas products here, up to 50% off.
what's this here? Quality products. What is that? £25. That's a lot of money, isn't it? Gin, dry gin, barrel cut, special gins. £25. I mean, they're not all discounted here, but a lot of the products are still full price. But at the instant ones. And they're the 120. I'm thinking of the porridge oats, they, they work out like 120 each, so it's too expensive. So nothing else to see really guys. A trip to Waitrose. Showing exactly what one can buy. They've got some good deals. I'm going to probably um, pick up just a couple of more items before we go. Um, oh look at this one here. Sunny, the bottle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hate it when <laughs> things fall over. Bath gel, look. I bet that smells wonderful. Mmm. Bath gel. Oh, they got these giant hand gels, but I've got a couple at home. So I'm fine. So, what do you think, guys, just before we go? Did you enjoy this trip around Waitrose? Yeah. And our next trip will be, we'll go to a Littles for you. And we will go to the other one. What's the other one? <laughs> Come on, I've forgotten. I'm, I'm just going crazy. Littles would be a nice trip. And the other cheap supermarket, I will remember, but it's just completely gone out of my mind and let me know if any other supermarket trips you would like me to go to it, we cannot really go to departmental stores because you get thrown out easily they are not um the best places for one to go guys i'm going to say goodbye take care see you hopefully at 11 o'clock broad street in birmingham live on saturday and we will see the new year in together. We will wander around the city centre, start off at Broad Street, probably go to Paradise, just go through the whole city centre and perhaps end up at Victoria Square, because Victoria Square is probably the place where you get a better view of the fireworks at midnight on Saturday. But please, like, share, subscribe. I will post this when we get home. So it's almost live. The last one we did, Marks and Spencer, filmed, got home, posted it, and even posted it public in under three hours. So I'm going to do the same today, hopefully. It's like almost four o'clock now, I think. You will be watching this within a couple of hours. See you on Saturday night. Take care, bye-bye.